this is our foot in the door, and then we ask questions. I say we pitch them at like a $3,500 website, basic one. So Brandon and I, we're about to go prospect to somebody that cold called electrician, and we are going to go meet up with them, see how we can help them. But first, we're going to do some recon on their digital presence. I think everybody should go into any sales meeting, call, whatever, with some information in order to push the sales. I'm going to break down that for everybody right now. So he uh, cold called him, set up the meeting, right? What did you say to him? How'd you find him? His company was one of the companies that was scraped by the GMB gunner and said that he didn't have a claim business listing. So I called and as soon as I mentioned it, he was sort of dissatisfied with, he says he kind of looked into it or kind of did something, but wasn't happy with his digital presence. And that was immediately apparent. And he seemed interested in pursuing something that'll make it better. So you didn't, you didn't mention like websites or anything like that. You just said, we do marketing here. We want to talk about how we can do things better for you basically yeah exactly yeah so when i called he told me that he's his company is electric but he's also got electric which i googled and he has a google created website yeah so a simple google website really basic yep he's got a subdomain mm -hmm. he's got his name on a subdomain for a google site yeah you can see at the bottom it says it's powered by google mm -hmm. I've actually ranked a few of these. They're not like oh. bad to rank or anything like that. Yeah. Especially like in um, not so competitive markets, you know, but there isn't a lot of flexibility for like this, the design. Like mm. it doesn't look that great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or at least it looks really empty. It looks like he probably did this himself in March 11th. Yeah. He probably spent 20, 30, 40, or maybe for him, it probably took him two hours to do this. <laughs> yeah, probably. So. Yeah, I mean, I would say the first step we can do is definitely offer to help him with a website. And then really, I think it's just a matter of, you know, asking him about what his goals are, you know, like how is he currently getting customers? Yeah. Uh, I like to always start with that because I like to find out how they're getting them and see if we can make that better by adding in our digital marketing strategy. Like, so if they're only getting customers through word of mouth, like that's one thing, right? Like then really you want to take their business everywhere else because they're not anywhere else. Yeah. But like, if he had a great website and he was already doing good, you know, maybe we could do something like ads, make recommendations for running different types of ads, improving, like let's say he was getting more customers already from the internet somewhere, we could track down and find where those people were and then take that to the next level. So I think really it's just about, this is our foot in the door and then we ask questions. I say we pitch him at like a $3,500 website, basic one. Like the, uh you mean the, with the, the template? No, I would say we pitch him at like a $3,500 custom website. We'd build it, oh. custom, it yeah, custom it out. It wouldn't be, it would be a basic custom website. It wouldn't be like too crazy. Yeah. If that's not in his budget, I would say our downgrade would be to like set up one of our themes for like 1500 or something like that. Oh, okay. Or figure out what his budget is and be like, no, well, how much can you spend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can figure out how to get you something that's going to work for you within your budget. Yeah. And if he said like five hundred dollars, well then we'd make some suggestions for him to like you know go on Fiverr or something. But at least that way he'd know what to do next too. Yeah. You know? so really, we're doing like consulting right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but we don't want to give him too much. Just enough. Just enough. To Just enough him. to hopefully buy something from us. Yeah. Let him know that we know what we're talking about. Wait, so he canceled? Well, I mean, I did talk to him earlier, and he was like, uh, you know, it may have to wait till Monday. I don't know. I'm in between things right now. In in between a couple of gnarly jobs. Yeah, we we had a mini talk about like the email because that's how he I found out he didn't get it even though I mean he saw it, it was there yeah this is this is actually why I tend to do the whole pre-qualification process I know I know we're doing like cold calling and all that shit that's, that's kind of why I thought like it wasn't relevant yeah I thought since we were reaching out you mm -hmm. know like we're, we're being more proactive it'd be weird to send them oh you're interested okay now go <laughs> yeah I would say that if they are interested like they want to do it people that are interested and already like maybe you pitch them on the phone and they want to buy I would say of course you send them there to the form you know to get the first step is to gather all the information on you in this guy's case now that he's planning to meet with us again or he canceled I would say send him there he's canceling so you say sure yeah we can we can meet again in the meantime can you go ahead and fill out this form for me so I can get a little more info on your business and see what you've got going on that way when we do meet I'll be a little more informed for what we have you could probably wait for him to fill that form out and then set a date to meet him okay you know what I mean which uh and that's I guess that's where I was a little confused because I, I did look at like the options you had the discovery forms mm -hmm. and you know you had the website SEO and then a few other ones I guess I haven't really narrowed down on what he thinks he wants yet I mean I suggested hey you need a website yeah or a better website yeah right because I did link his site like 
showing that I found that yeah. in the email that I sent him, which I don't know how closely he's looking at that. I guess in the call, should I, I mean, like try to figure out, is he looking for a CO? Is he looking for... So what I do in that case, like they're not too sure on the service. I haven't filled out the SEO form yeah. because there are some SEO type questions in there, but really it's more of like a, there are a lot of like visibility questions in there. You know, mm -hmm. like, do you have a website? What is it? Who are your competitors? How are you getting customers? Even though it says SEO, we really can use that for a lot for most things. Oh, okay, cool. You know? Oh, that's great to know. So yeah, and, and of course the biggest thing is figuring out what his budget is in that yeah. form. So now we know like, okay, he canceled on us one time and then we made time for this. It sucks that he canceled. So let's see how much he's worthy of a candidate he really is by figuring out his budget. You know, maybe he only has $500 or maybe he has no budget. Well, if we can use this to figure that out, then like maybe we won't drive 45 minutes to meet him in Lahaina. But if he has a $10,000 budget, then maybe we will meet him 45 minutes, you know? Yeah. But these are all things that you can do. It's like kind of, you know, gathering info on him. Yeah, I like it. Okay, well, um, then maybe I'll text him. Yeah, so I would text, I would text him or email him. Say, yeah, you can, we can reschedule. In the meantime, you know, can you do me a favor and fill out this form? Link him to the form and say, uh, once you fill that, I'm gonna do a little more research and I'll call you back to schedule the meeting.